Hey guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, and I think we're just gonna get started. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride. Oh my Bill god. That guy is drunk. Can I take out my pistol and shoot him? I want to shoot him. Archibald? How are you? Sorry, are you I was I I wanted to shoot the guy. Oh. But it's whatever. Yeah. I think he's learned his lesson. What the hell is this horse doing? Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you, there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. Oh I my! You about the no! Really? Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. Braithwaite's. We found their oh shoot! Darn! Shoot! Because we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Yeah, being rich is fucking awesome, dude. I mean, you get like thousand. Uh, look, look how much money I have. How much money? Can it, does it show me how much money I have? Never mind. I look six hundred dollars, and Dutch is still talking about. That bad rabbit suits you, Mr. W. Yes, I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at? Yeah, I don't mean to flex on you guys, but I got like six hundred dollars. I don't mean to flex on you, but I got like six hundred dollars, and it's fucking crazy. Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Oh. 
these damn flies. Chill. We're almost there. Washing once in a while. Hey, come have a look at this. <sighs> okay. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. The Lamorne Raiders. Oh, I know who they are. I keep on running into them and I accidentally sh sh always shoot them. No, I don't accidentally. I shoot them because I want to. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Hey, slow it down a bit. Go right at the crossroads. Hey! Sorry! Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. They're right again here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Yo! He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Would drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Okay, man. Anyway, All right. Tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. All right. I get it. Murderers. I get it. I fucking get it. Wonder what happened to my what poncho. I had a poncho on. Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Okay, man. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive. Understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. <sighs> God, I'm young. I'm tired. I'm a sleepy, sleepy head. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin. And we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he's definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these. Dude, people. thank God. Dutch was like, that is enough out of you right now. <laughs> that guy can talk up a storm. Bow! I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. I got the other one. Don't worry about it. I don't know. It kind of, I kind of look cool without the poncho. But I still want the poncho. I am not going to lie. Gotcha. Sneak attack. Oh, that... You, 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 you little... You little... Biatch. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I guess I tied him all up. You guys got your your little buddies here? Come on. I can't wait forever. Good work, gentlemen. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. You're goddamn right I can. So I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about these. <laughs> that is the last oh. time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't need to take things so personal, dude. This is a joke. Alright, let's... Should we just throw a piece of dynamite? Let's just throw it. There we go. Hey! That to the Mon Raiders. 
Ha! Shit! We got men over here. We got bad guys. We gotta. We gotta take care of. Woo, doggy. Horse move. I'm not done with you sons. Oh, I missed. I I missed again. Oh, there we go. I got it. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Let's first loot this place. All right, we looted all the bodies. Every single solitary body. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move We it. have a life move it. It. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Let's go, Dutch. Somewhere near Camp yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? All right. Okay. You're Why right. not? That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go. Hey, you got a running start, you f ah, you jerk. <laughs> Left him in the dust, baby. Oh, doggy. Excuse me, fellas. I got a race. Oh my god, we freaking beat Dutch. Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that. I'm not gonna have sex with you, dude. Can I take out my gun? I wanna take out my gun. Oh, I can't take out my gun. We're in camp. Arthur? Where? Who said that? Alright. Ah, Herr Morgan.
Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Nah, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> all right, buddy. Laugh all you want, you degenerate. All right, we got our poncho back. Got our horse cleaned. Now let's go get our self that damn debt. Still don't look Gwen quite Hughes. Right. Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh. Well, uh. Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? Okay, buddy. All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said... It's a good point, well, Arthur. Very good the point. The reality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> well, are we gonna go get these this money or okay. what? You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. All right. In there, it's under here. What? I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. What? That is stupid. Stupid idea. I like it. Oh, damn it. I got oh, you, bro. Oh, well, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them all, and I'll wait right around here. Look I got it. Nope. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. You don't want to hang around here. Come on, quick! Look at the trouble you got us in. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I just, I just felt like I wanted to do it. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Goodbye, ma'am. I don't, I don't know why I did that, too. I, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. You cannot go through here. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Go away, shoo. Bye-bye. Well. Uh -huh. Bing, bing, bong. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing. Gentlemen, church grounds are closed. I don't... I suggest you start heading back that way. Easy, mister. We'll go. Come on. That's good. Keep it up. <sighs> they go bye bye. They go bye bye. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to. Sir, are you done digging up a poor Here's your payment. buried woman? Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? She had a I don't know why I did that. I keep on doing that. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Hey, that you, that's not your property. Why you mind your business and keep walking, huh? God, no. bad Better run. Oh, God! Ugh. How much you got in here? Forty bucks? 
Better than nothing. Oh, let's go talk to Molly O'Shea. Can I have a quick word? Molly! Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? I did. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Well, come on then, you miserable bastards. Sorry, I was on my phone playing Tuber Simulator. How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all of five minutes. <laughs> wow, you boys went off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. <sighs> oh, that's a good idea. The crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> stop the wagon! Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I see something. Oh, great. Let's go. Oh, God. Let's go. Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Let's get the hell out of here. Do you see Uncle's face? His like his beard was gone. Shit. 
Almost just killed the horse. That would have been bad. I am. I'm killing them all. We gotta get the hell out of here, boys. Is there more? Holy shit. God damn. That is a bad idea. Let's hide in here. Quick! Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Perfect. Oh, Jesus Murphy. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Get out here. Now, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I. Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't. Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. Better not be. All right. Group forth. Low. Go check out the the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> oh God. Here we go. Wait, I want to look. Let me look. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Oh, God. No! Looks like we're shooting. Nice Play shot, you Uncle! Come on, where are they? I can't see it. See them through this freaking dark. Through the dark. Ah! There we go. Holy shit, there's a lot. Got him. They got me pinned. Let me get in there. Hey, 
Oh! Come on. Enough fighting, guys. We gotta take these sons of bitches down. Oh, shit. Oh, guys, stop pushing me. Oh my god. Into the tree. Come on. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Holy shit. Let's well, split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Gotcha. And if it's Doc Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick! Behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my right. You see anything? Not yet. This is messy. Holy shit. This is real messy. Uh oh. Billy, those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a. Wait, never mind. You're right. It's all their fault. Come on, you sons of bitches. What the f- uh. I shot both their hats off. I didn't even kill them. Perfect. We did it this time. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Never mind. Split up, Gwonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jones. Stay quiet and move. We got our money back. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 